Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Early season, mid-season, late season, it really doesn't matter. The SEC doesn't wait to turn up the intensity. An early season matchup in the Southeastern Conference. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Mississippi for today's big college football matchup. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. First Ole Miss lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Wilson takes it at the 8. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 49. Well, Vanderbilt's coaching staff, they know they've got a star wide receiver. They know it's going to be a hostile environment. With that, we went to practice this week, Kirk. They had a crowd noise pumped up pretty good getting them ready for this game. Yeah, they've done everything that they can do to get this offense ready for a tough environment. They had the crowd noise all week long, making it tough to communicate for the quarterback and his receivers. Now it's here. Now it's the game. And we'll see if all that preparation pays off. One thing we know for sure, they want to get the football into the hands of this receiver early and often if they want to win this game. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. From the 34-yard line, first down. He's tackled at the 32. The running back gets two on the carry. You're not going to be able to get by a short tackler like this linebacker too often. And he's taken down around the 20-yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. First and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Gets it, but steps out and will lose yards. Complete. You wonder now if this guy will get alligator arms the next time the ball comes his way. It's been known to happen. Third and 12. Ball on the 21 yard line. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. And down he goes at the 11 yard line. That was a well designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. Vanderbilt could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and he's got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. Tackle at the 35. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Three down, three down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. And they get. 
get the sack. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. They'll bring him down at the 40. Quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. They got lucky on that play. That receiver was wide open, but the quarterback just missed him. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. <laughs> Allen fields at the 31. Oh, he got nailed on that one. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Vanderbilt is up by three. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Very well-designed play that time to give him a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. Knocked down immediately after the catch. Game in 13 yards. First down. Man left, man left. Pull it down, pull it down. Mike 52, Mike 52. Run, run, run. Nice run there. Wiggins gets about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 23 yard line. Backs got it on the quick throw. Excellent open field tackle. Stewart on the tackle. That's that 12 yard line. First down. Right, right, right. Pull it down, pull it down. 87's getting the ball. 87's getting the ball. Mark 52, Mark 52. And he's stopped behind the line. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. From the 13-yard line, second down. Touchdown, Commodores! He kept it himself and created the whole thing with his feet. Boy, was that fun to watch or what? He makes the PAT. So that's a six play, 54 yard drive. And they put up seven points. So the score now, 10 nothing. Gibbons has his kick team lined up and he is set to kick this one off. Taken from the 10. He's out to the 30. He makes it to the 32 yard line. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Tackled after a decent pickup. Man left, man left. That makes it second and six. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. He's taken down at the 48. Quick 
strike to the receiver. Tackle around the 37-yard line. That is not easy to stop. The quarterback hit his man on an out route, and the defender was in man coverage. As a defender in man coverage, you cannot get beat deep. And as a result, the underneath routes are going to be there. As you can see, it worked out great for the offense as they were looking for a new set of downs. And that'll bring it in to the first quarter of action. 10-0, Vanderbilt. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. his way out to about the 25. Zips it to the tight end. And he's tackled around the 23-yard line. Has some daylight. And he's level at the 11. the field in the gun with five wide receivers. field goal. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the six. Down the sideline. And he's tackled at the 48-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Vanderbilt is up a field goal. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 41. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. it to the back and they get him in the backfield for a loss well that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football they know what this team likes to run and they got the better of them that time Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Brought down at the 23. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. From the 23-yard line, first down. And 
they make the stop at the nine-yard line. Good job here by the receiver. Look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. They come out on an empty backfield. He's tackled around the three-yard line. Barrett gains six yards with a short completion. That brings up second and goal. From the three-yard line, second down. Vanderbilt holds a field goal lead. And he hits him hard at the two. on the extra point. So a seven-play, 54-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And he'll return this one from the seven. They'll bring him down at the 28. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. There's a strike complete. And he's taken down at the 42-yard line. Gets it out to about the 47-yard line. Wants to throw outside, and he's hit immediately. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. This one out to the right. They tried to fool him by running the same play again. Yeah, fooled no one there, Brad. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball in the 29. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Taken back a yard. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That makes it third and eleven. He lets it go. That's a great tackle at the one. You can chalk that one up to the hundreds of passes the quarterback has thrown to this receiver in practice. These guys know and trust each other, and you could see it in the way he threw that pass. Touchdown, Rebels. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 72-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Ole Miss is ready to kick it away. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. The Commodores offensive staff, I think, has done a good job of keeping their wide receiver in the game. Even though he's not having great stats, he's part of it, and the rest of the team now is picking up his slack, I think. Well, this offense is still putting points on the board, and I think at times they're actually using the wide receiver, the go-to man who's drawing so much attention, really as a decoy to open up other avenues of this offense. We've seen other receivers make some plays. They're running the football. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments this defense makes to try to slow down these other members of this offense. And who knows, maybe that could open it back up for that marquee receiver. That makes it first and 10.
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Vanderbilt has a three-point lead. for a loss. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he tackles them hard at the 49. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're gonna kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're gonna get embarrassed on Monday. Going deep, lays it out there. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Griffin is the putter. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Well, this offense has found the end zone on their last two drives, and they're coming out on this one trying to do much of the same. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. It's second down, six to go. All on the 33. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. He lets it fly. Catches it. They'll bring him down at the 18. So we've played two quarters. Vanderbilt leads it 17-14. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Vince Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson, Oakland, Stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air, and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared, and that's how you force those turnovers. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. Very close game now as we start the second half. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 23-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. Second and ten. Ball on their own 23. Slings it out there incomplete. Blockers or running backs got it on the screen, and down he goes at the 29. That makes it fourth and four. Lawrence to punt. And he makes it out to about the 41 yard line.
quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. The Rebels wide receiver had to leave the game earlier with that injury. And the word we're getting now, unlikely to see any further action in this one. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it second and six. From their own 45-yard line, second down. Vanderbilt is up by three. He's got his man across the middle. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Keep it on the ground with a tailback. He's at the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Commodores. That was simply sensational running, and it shows you what kinds of major things can happen when you have a good ground game. converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. From the seven. He's out to the 30. He gets hit out of bounds at midfield. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Quick pass. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. four-yard line. Zips it to the back. And they hit him in the backfield. That's a loss of one yard on the play. That brings up fourth and seven. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Receiver and it falls incomplete. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Tackle made at about the 23-yard line. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it third and three. Yeah. 
He's got it with room to run. And he's tackled at about the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line, first down. Second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Five wide. Fires incomplete. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. Here's the halfback on the screen. Brought down around the 37-yard line. Caldwell is back awaiting the punt. He's to the 40, and down he goes at the 42. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. That's three down and one to go. The Commodores with a 10-point lead. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. And he's level at the 40. They picked a good time to go with that call. It didn't seem like the defense was ready for it. They'll move the chain. because this kid had some space. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Seven yard line. He's really quick with his lateral movement, especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. And this play is number eight on the drive. Four down, four down. Mike 36. Mike 36. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Touchdown, Mississippi. Then a field goal. And he hits the PAT. 
So that's an eight play 59 yard drive and they come away with seven points. They line up to kick this one away. From the five yard line. He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. A score here might effectively end this one. Vanderbilt is up a field goal. Wiggins takes the give. He's pushed out of bounds right around the 36 yard line. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Inches away from picking up the first down. He's brought down in the open field. Griffin awaits the snap. Caldwell fields it at the 26, gets to about the 34-yard line. Vanderbilt has come storming back in this fourth quarter. Yeah, and they're not done yet. There's still time there. They're thinking about maybe winning this game. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He's scrambling. And he's taken down around the 44-yard line. Pressure got to him, and he put it on the ground. That's a great tackle at the 43-yard line. Boy, that nearly cost him. They're very fortunate to get the football back. Late in the game like this, the number one thing is taking care of the football. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 17 yard line. Throws out and through his hands. That brings us third and 10. Under a minute left. Remove this. Check, check. Disco Raver. Disco. 
Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ballgame, and now the offense has got a chance to win it. So they're going to go for it here. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. This is the ninth play of this drive. Touchdown! And that gives him the lead. Penalty markers down. They took too much time. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice nine play, 58 yard drive. And they put up seven points. Mitchell looks ready to kick this one off. Gets out to about the 21. So we're getting late in the fourth quarter. Kirk, you've got to make the most of every possession you have. Williams is legend now. Has got a chance to grow if they can get him the football. Well, I'd be throwing the football his way early and often during this drive. You never know what can happen once the football gets in his hands. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. He throws left. Big catch there as they knock him out of bounds. First down. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Under a minute left in the game. Gets to about the 47-yard line. So the halfback gets only two on the draw play. The Vanderbilt's going to take their first time out of the half. At about the 35. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. From the 35-yard line, it's first down. Deep pass to the end zone. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. This guy's got to just feel off dropping an easy interception in the end zone. The best thing that he could do now is go to his teammates and hope that they're able to get him back up and get ready to play that next play. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And that one's incomplete. Third down now. They need to get it to the 25. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And he hits him hard at the 32. That tackle just sealed the deal. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. It's first and goal, and they need a touchdown. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete.
We had a fight to the finish here today. 28-24, Rebel. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? Well, this one really could have gone either way. Vanderbilt played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays, and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple of minutes, and this one may have gone the other way. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Curb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.